हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो इन द टुडेस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द वेव नंबर ऑफ द स्पेक्ट्रल लाइन इमिटेड सो इन द लास्ट क्लास लास्ट प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द टोटल एनर्जी ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन इन द एन कॉपी सो वी हैव गॉट एन एक्सप्रेशन दैट En is equal to minus m z square e to the power of four divided by divided by a epsilon naught square n square h square this expression we have got okay this is the, the total energy of the electron in the enthalpy field okay now we are deriving expression for the wave number of the spectral line emitted here right so for that Take a hydrogen atom, a normal hydrogen atom. Okay, consider a normal hydrogen atom where the electron is in the ground state. Now suppose when we give some energy to that atom, when we when we supply some energy to that atom. Then the electron which is in ground state will jump to the higher state. Okay, so when it jumps to the higher state, there its lifetime will be approximately ten to the power of minus eight second. This is an approximate value. There its lifetime will be. 10 to the power of minus 8 second. After this, 10 to the power of minus 8 second, again that electron will come to its ground state. So what I am going to say is that when this electron is taking the transition from lower orbit to higher orbit, and after that when it is Coming from higher orbit to the lower orbit during this transition, there will be some emission of radiation. Okay, during this process, during the transition process, the difference in the energies will be the the radiation which are emitted, emitted by emitted by the electron while taking the transition. So, what does that mean? इस टाइम पे जब इलेक्ट्रॉन जब ट्रांजिशन लेता है जब हाइयर स्टेट से उसका एक लाइफ टाइम खत्म होने के बाद फिर से जब हाइयर से जब लोअर जब आएगा उस टाइम पे वो इलेक्ट्रॉन अपना एनर्जी को रेडिएट करेगा तो वो जो एनर्जी जो रेडिएट हो रहा है दैट इज इक्वल टू द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द हाइयर एनर्जी एंड द लोअर एनर्जी दैट इज इक्वल टू द रेडिएशन विच इज एमिटिंग तो उसका जो रेडिएशन का जो एनर्जी है वो किसका एक बराबर है वो डिफरेंस बिटवीन द हाइयर एनर्जी एंड द लोअर एनर्जी से फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज अयर ऑर्बिट दट इज ई टू इट इज ई वन नाउ इलेक्ट्रॉन इज जम्पिंग फ्रॉम Higher orbit to the lower orbit. So during this process, the electron is going to be emitting some radiations, okay, in the form of photons. So that photon energy will the emitted photon energy will be equal to the this E is the product <coughs> energy of the photons which are emitted. During this transition, that energy, that photon energy, is equal to the difference between the 
between the higher energy level and the lower energy level. Okay, this E2 is nothing but what? what? <coughs> higher energy that is and E1 is the lower energy. Okay, so that is what in general we are we are going to write this as En is equal to. So I am writing here. En1 and En2 are the energies of the orbits N1 and N2. Okay. So therefore, the photons which are emitted during this process, that energy is equal to E is equal to En2 minus E. Right. So therefore, this E is equal to h nu. So we know the general form here. That is minus. We have taken the hydrogen atom. So for hydrogen, z is equal to one. Now if I substitute the z is equal to one here, then it will be one here. So minus m e to the power of four divided by eight. Epsilon naught square. That is here n square h square minus of minus of minus m e to the power of four divided by. So here I am taking this as n two here. This n two. That is eight epsilon naught square. N one square, H square. So this becomes H is equal to minus M e to the power of four divided by eight epsilon naught square, N two square, H square minus minus plus M e to the power of four four divided by eight epsilon naught square, N one square, H square. So it can be written as H is equal to H is equal to m e to the power of four divided by eight epsilon naught square n one square h square minus m e to the power of four divided by eight epsilon naught square n two square h square. So therefore, h nu is equal to H nu is equal to so which is the common terms here m e to the power of four divided by eight epsilon naught square h square into one by n one square minus one by n two square. Okay. So in general, <coughs> actually we are taking a hydrogen atom. So In general, if we take this expression, then it becomes in general. I am telling. In general, H nu is equal to that is m z square e to the power of four whole divided by eight epsilon naught square h square into one by n one square minus one by n two square. So I can write this as Nu is equal to taking this h in the numerator, sorry denominator of this RHS side, then it becomes m z square e to the power of four whole divided by eight epsilon naught. So don't get confused here. Here I have not taken z here because I have taken here z as an atomic number of the hydrogen. I have taken the z is equal to one. So in the next step, I have taken the general equation. Here. So in general form, we can write this as h is equal to. I kept that z as same here, that which is which is written here. M minus m z square into the power of four. No, so that is what I have kept as same. M z square into the power of four divided by eight times square h square. Now 
x square. Here, if I take this h in the denominator, then it becomes h cube. It is one by n one square minus one by n two square. Okay. Now we know that nu is equal to c by lambda. Here frequency here nu is equal to frequency of the emitted radiations here. यहाँ पे जो भी रेडिएशन सेमिट हो रहा है उसका फ्रीक्वेंसी है ओके ओके सो सो इट इज़ एमिटिंग डिफरेंट फ्रीक्वेंसीज़ फ्रीक्वेंसी जगह में यहाँ पे सी बाई लैंडा देखूंगा सी बाई लैंडा एम जेड स्क्वायर इंटर फोर 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 डिवाइड बाई एट एपल नॉट एच क्यू फोर डिवाइड बाई One by n one square minus one by n two square. Okay, so here <coughs> one by lambda is equal to m z square e to the power of four divided by. If I take into the other side denominator, then it becomes eight epsilon naught c h cube into one by n one square minus one by n two square. So here. Reciprocal of the wavelength can be written as it is wave number. Wave number. So therefore, the above equation becomes nu bar is equal to m z square e to the power of four all divided by eight epsilon naught c h square into one by n one square minus one by n two square, which is a required expression. For the wave number of the spectral line emitted. Okay, so once again I am explaining you. Here, in hydrogen atom, in normal hydrogen atom, if the electron is in the ground state, then if you are given some energy to that atom, then the electron is going to be jumped from the ground state to the higher orbit. So when it jumps to the Higher orbit, there its lifetime will be approximately at the center of power of minus eight second. Will be the lifetime of that electron, which is going to be stay at the higher orbit. After that, again it will come to the ground state. That means it comes to the lower state. Okay. So during that process, it is going to be emitting some radiations in the form of photons. So those photons energy will be equal to e is equal to e two minus e one. Say for example, I have taken e two d one and the energy levels of the first orbit and the second orbit here. So in general, <coughs> we are taking here e is equal to e and two. There is here n one and n two are the orbit numbers. So their difference will be the energy which is emitted here. Okay. तो वही एनर्जी आप में सबके सिख सकते हो एच यू तो यहां पे मैंने इस पर जस्ट कि एनर्जी फर्स्ट ऑर्बिट और सेकंड ऑर्बिट का एनर्जी का वैल्यू आपने जो हम निकाल दे रहे डिराइव किया था उसका वैल्यू आपने मैंने सब्स्टिट्यूट किया है माइनस में से बिकम्स प्लस सो आफ्टर रियली दिस टर्म्स आई विल बी गेटिंग इज इक्वल टू एम इक्वल अपॉन वो ए का टर्म्स पर एक्स स्क्वायर इज इक्वल वन बाय एन स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाय एन टू स्क्वायर सो दिस एक्सप्रेशन इज कंसर्न फॉर ओनली द हाइड्रोजन एटम So if I if I take the general form of that equation, then it will be h is equal to m h z square e to the power of four divided by eight epsilon square h square into one by n square minus one by n two square. So here nu is equal to I have taken this h to the denominator of the right hand side, then it becomes h cube. We know that nu is equal to c by lambda. I have substituted in place of nu c by lambda. Again I have taken the c to the denominator of the right hand side. So reciprocal of the wavelength can be known as it is wave number. So then this wave number can be given by this expression. Okay. So this is what the required expression for the wave number of the spectral line emitted. Okay. So in the next class we we'll discuss with the next topic. Okay. Thank you.